everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel i'm cat coloring and today i'm going to make a, another review of the castle arts last time i made a review i made it from the 120 set of the castle art soft touch uh, set and i um had some complaints about this set uh primary about how and uh, where you can buy them how expensive it is for people not living in the uk france germany or united states to get a hold of these pencils also a bit about <coughs> excuse me about the blending abilities of the pencils um but i have since learned some things and now i have invested in the premium soft touch metallic pencils 48 set so the first thing I have learned now, and this is actually an improvement for Castle Art, that is that uh, you cannot buy them on eBay any longer, but you can buy them on Amazon in Europe. And this is a huge game changer because the last time I got these and made my review, it was only possible to buy them at Castle Art's own webpage and Amazon in the United States and eBay in England, but not Germany and not Amazon Germany. But now I discovered here in the, the end of December, I think, or the beginning of January, that on Amazon Germany, the German Amazon page, you can actually buy Castle Arts now. Um, so the castle arts are withdrawn from uh, eBay, both German eBay and the UK. I don't know if they were at the German uh, eBay. I don't think so, because I couldn't find them. But at least the English version of eBay, they have been removed. They are not sold there anymore. But castle art really do sell them now on Amazon Germany. And this is a game changer for all of us uh, who don't live in the above mentioned countries, United States, UK, Germany, and France. Because now we can get these pencils from Germany. And for us who live in the rest of the EU, Scandinavia or Austria or Italy or Spain or whatever, we can now buy these pencil without paying those huge taxes, import taxes to our countries and the higher shipping fees it would otherwise cost to get them from the United States or from uh, the UK. Because since the UK left uh, Europe, the European Union, uh, in the Brexit a couple of years ago, uh, taxes has uh, have been reintroduced and then we have to pay taxes and import fees uh, if we order things from the UK. But now we can order from Germany and I had actually ordered these and the pastel tint pencils from Castle Art in the beginning of December from the American Amazon. Unfortunately, I never received them due to severe weather conditions. It was the second time that I actually ordered something from the United States from Amazon there. And uh, the last time I ordered before uh, these, I didn't get it either. But then I found out that uh, they sold them on the German Amazon page and uh, I made a refund uh, from the American page because I never received the pencils. And then I bought them from the German Amazon site. And I was really surprised and pleased, I must say, I actually saved 300 kroner on buying these from Germany both because I uh, I didn't have to pay these expensive import fees, but also because I bought both sets. And when you buy for more than 69 euros, you don't have to pay uh, for the shipping. So I also saved the shipping cost because it cost me in a total of 71 euros for this set and the Castle Art Pastel Tint set. So that's a huge improvement. I actually saved money from uh, ordering these from Germany instead of the United States. Thank you so much, Castle Art. I really do appreciate it. And I will, of course, uh, write in my description box how you can get a hold of these. And I am not an affiliate of Amazon, I might add. So I have got these and I have wanted these for a while now. And I'm going to make a review. So uh, my first uh, part of the review is already done. 
They are much easier to get a hold of now and you can save money. They were actually also on sale from the German Amazon page. So I saved a lot of money there also. Um, so let's take a look at these pencils and then we will um, try to uh, find out if they are truly metallic pencil. It says, a set of high quality, highly pigmented artists grade metallic pencils in a range of vibrant colors. And there is a user guide and tutorial included. Well, that doesn't surprise me because the Castle Arts soft touch set of 120 also had a lot of goodies inside, I must say. So, away with the plastic. And ooh, they are so much easier to open this tin box than the Castle Art 120 set I must add also. So much easier to open. Nice. That's also an improvement of the last time. Oh, a little something from Castle Arts. Need any help? Contact us at castlearts.com. Yeah? And you can join the Castle Club. Okay. And here we have a color and product guide. That was... Uh, the same that I showed the, you in the last review of the other pencils. We have Tiger. Create a metallic pencil illustration of a tiger in six easy stages. Nice. And you will notice that the background is black for these pencils. Oh, you have to unfold this completely. Whoops. Oh! So... You will have to trace the tiger using white trace down onto black pastel paper. And this is from a template you can download from the Castle Arts website. Okay, so the first step you have to do to make this tiger is to download the template from the Castle Arts website. And then you will have to add the dark and neutral shade for the natural fur tones. Mm -hmm. Introduce a dark silver. Must be this one, together with the initial warm tones. Oh, and it also says what colors to use. Then you have to uh, use a neon blue glow here and four different colors we can see here. But you still have to guess, I think, you have this to look at, but you still have to guess what color to use where. It's not that uh, obvious. Then you have to add orange and brown layers, create uh, the transitional look. The red and brown tones blend the cool tones, creating a natural flow through the fur. Yeah, all right. But which colors go where? And add dark and neutral shades to the eyes and fur to create depth and contrast to perfection. Yeah. I don't know if I could do it from this tutorial. I think that you need a lot of explaining from one step to the other because there are four different colors here and here and five here. Uh, and where do you lay the different colors or do you just blend them? So perhaps not as tutorial as I, I would do it. You can see here we also have a um, list of all the colors with uh, some samples of the colors here, a little swatch chart, but you know my opinion about these. I can't use them because it's not the exact color as it would be on paper. We can also see we have it here in the lid. So we will have to swatch these before we can form an opinion about them and the colors. Then there is this wonderful book here, Metallic Pencils Taking Your Art to the Next Level with, oh, how to hold your pencils and so on. And then also you can see here the color collection and how you can blend the different colors to make new colors and how 12 pencils can make 144 colors. Yeah, how you blend light or dark paper. Metallics work perfectly. We will have to test that. Um, and then there's this tiger and oh, and a bonus, a sea eagle. Okay. And that's also a template you can download from the website. 
and then you will have to guess the colors so it looks really nice but um you will have to do a lot of the things yourself a little swatch chart of of course i will not only use my own but i will make my own um i'm not quite sure that these um little blocks are enough to um, form an opinion of the color perhaps for some not for me and this protective sheet also and here they are still the same system as with the 120 soft and if you uh, saw the other review you would know that this one was broken at my first i had to fix it with some tape but this one seems actually quite solid nothing broken here no i pull nothing happens so they are solid also a not as a big a tray as uh, with the 120 set of course because the set is smaller and um, you can see here nice and well holds the pencil very well we take one pencil up oh well it doesn't go down easily there you are just a complete random pencil you can see that they are round pencils uh, they have this silver paint here and at the end of the pencil you can see the color of the pencil and the name of the pencil see it's metallic from castle art and if you turn the pencil you can see the number and then the name of the color azure blue and here you have the lead of the pencil and they are blunt so we will have to sharpen them of course before we do the swatching but some nice colors here and they are metallic as we can see some golden and brown colors greens it looks like it and blues and then we certainly have what looks like grays silver here and um, purples lilacs more browns perhaps these are more golden than browns i think perhaps ochre or something dragon orange it's uh, so interesting and very nice so first impression good this is certainly improved the price has certainly improved the availability of the pencils has certainly improved but now let's take them to the test let's sharpen them make a swatch chart and try them out in a coloring book to see how they perform so I have made the swatch chart and as you can see I have made it with a black background because these are metallic pencils and the color would not come quite off as it should on a white piece of paper. These are the swatch charts I usually make by printing them on white printing paper but this one is printed on a black piece of cardboard that I had and um, because it's black print on black uh, I have used some of my other you can see here I have some other metallic pencils, uh, hybrid dual metallic, and I have used the gold and the silver to make the outlines here and write the names of the colors. So it's probably difficult for you through the camera to see it, but it's names. If you, I hope you can see it. And of course, because I use glitter gel pens, it's just glitter all over. But as you, if you can see it here, blue mist, amethyst, sapphire, Olive Verde, Envy, interesting color, Avalon Green Camel, Burgundy Rose, and so on. So if I hold it in the right light, I can clearly see the names of these colors. Um, so now I think that we need to uh, begin swatching them. And I just have to have these first colors here. Um, so I will just sharpen them and then we will swatch just want to show you this i'm really really sad when i sharpen some of the pencils this happens you can see the wood here the pencil has cracked and it's almost impossible to save this i'll show you another pencil and remember i haven't used these pencils the rose argent look at how small it is and i will just compare it to a third pencil i haven't sharpened look this did exactly the same as this one. 
I hope that um, this rose argent is an ugly color that I won't use very much because otherwise this is practically unbearable to lose so much of a brand new pencil because the wood is weird and the pencil just cracks and it's almost impossible to save with a pencil sharpener. Well, I will try to save this one and we will see how it goes. Okay, I have sharpened the pencils and um, it was extremely difficult, but I managed to save. This was the Moonstone. I had to use God, I hope it doesn't break. It kept breaking and breaking and breaking. And I tried a lot of uh, sharpeners. And you can see here that the, the sharpener has torn this wood apart. You can see also the marks here from the sharpener. I tried uh, my old reliable desk sharpener. Then I tried this, uh, my Stettler. And in the end, it was this one from Faber-Castell that saved this pencil, but it was very difficult and I didn't want to sharpen it too much because you can see here, it's clearly just cracked and I don't want it to crack further. So um, the result of the sharpening, you can see here most of them, luckily in this set. Just one accident with one pencil, but difficult to solve. And the other part of the pencil set here can clearly see uh, it's been very, very hard from this rose argent and also a bit, whoops, also a bit of this, uh, I think it was the violet. Um, yeah, viola. Violet color. So sad. And I just keep thinking that I hope that the colors are not very good because otherwise I will just be frustrated with how I just missed, um, I think, three centimeters of a pencil. I have a ruler here. Yeah. Here, three. Three centimeters of a pencil gone just because I wanted to sharpen them before I used them. I mean, Castle Art, please do better the next time. I feel so frustrated and a bit cheated right now that one of the only rose colors perhaps is uh, broken. Well, we will have to see now how the colors perform here in the swatch chart. So the Vegas yellow here, this is the Vegas yellow. There's certainly a good coverage here of the color. Uh, and well, it's a bit difficult, you know, with the pressure and, and all. So I think I will just color this so that you can see the color. But there is, I think, a good coverage here um, with the color. Take it up a bit closer so that you can see. Look here. A nice yellow golden color. So let's see a couple more and then I will just swatch to, to some music. Uh, Dragon Orange. Also, great coverage here. Nice orange color. Is it metallic orange? Mm, well, perhaps a certain glow here. What if I tried on this one from Castle Art, just to have it on white paper? I said uh, black paper is, is back, best back, uh, black background. Um, I would just have to find this um, orange. Ah, here, dragon orange. 
I'll just color it here. It looks a bit flat on the white paper, I must say. So if I just color this, Yeah, the color is uh, more flat here with the white background than here. There's another shine to the color when it's colored on a black background. You can clearly see that. Perhaps I should try the Vegas yellow here. If I can find it on this one, Vegas yellow. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, number 29, whoops. Oh, uh, yeah. Vegas yellow and just color this one. A nice coverage here. It actually changes color if I just do this and I start to make little circles. It changes the color a bit. I thought that the orange was flat. This one, when you color more, gets a uh, golden metallic resemblance. Perhaps some of the colors work stronger on the white background than the black. Well, we'll see. Let's just take this, the unfortunate color, pencil rose argent. And now I am very unlucky and unhappy because look at this eye. Look, it keeps breaking and breaking. It's not okay yet. There's something seriously wrong with this pencil and look at how beautiful the color is. I am so unhappy. It's not okay, this one. Uh, 32. Yeah, Rose Argent. This also looks a bit, a little bit flat and not that metallic on the white background, I must say, but look here. It's beautiful. I'm really, really sad that this pencil just keeps breaking and breaking, and in the end, I won't have any pencil to use. So there is still room for some improvement, Castle Art, with these pencils. Well, I will just swatch the, the rest and then I will show you the result.
swatch chart is finished now and as you can see here with the black background on this black cardboard that you can clearly see that there are metallic in these colors and they are quite nice um, I also had to um, change the way the pencils were sorted because they were sorted one way then I went to Castle Arts web page where they had this um, swatch chart or color chart over all of the colors the pastel tint the metallics the soft touch uh, premium 120 set and uh, then they were in another color order and then I um, changed the order to match what the color pencils were on their own website and this is the swatch chart that matches the color chart on the web page with the colors in the order from the Vegas yellow and dragon orange all the way to the green gray so as you can see here we have a nice yellow and orange color then we have some nice purples and pinks color this rose argent it's really really nice a darker one jasper purple and then they go to um, this one looks quite red the mandarin garnet garnet funny word uh, and garnet lake then we go to some uh, a little bit of purple some more pinkish colors actually burgundy rose and bloodstone on this dark background they are some different colors you can see here we have some of the purples blue mist is actually quite a light purple color we have some of the blue colors here sapphire quite dark here and then we have sort of teal colors here we also have this um green colors from the teal to some more turquoise uh, turquoise uh, kelp green we have for some reason the bismuth crystal it perhaps should have been over here with the brown colors then we have the more light green colors here it turns to the gold colors and then bronze and over to some of the brown colors and then the gray you can see typhoon grays is not actually quite a gray color here but more like a brown gray the french gray um, sort of a light bronze and then we have the vesuvius gray and platinum which are much more silver quantum gray also we have the black here and it's quite funny to have a black metallic pencil when um, they are supposed to be colored on black background why not then a white metallic pencil which would be more vivid i think but okay so no white but a black but if we turn to this watch chart their own sorry about the smudge here you can see here that the colors are not quite the same as with the black background um, the peacock topaz here is actually a bit darker um, on the white background than it is when you color with it on a black background the sapphire is a more bright color on the white background white as here it is the darkest color and when you look at the crystal blue and azure blue we have them here crystal blue it looks actually a bit lighter here with the back uh, black background than over here and the azure blue here also so a lot of these uh, colors change really really much when you color them on a white background so um, i will have to try them both on a white and a black background in coloring books but for now suffice it to say that i really do think that when you color on a black background you really can see the colors what they're supposed to be um and over here not very much i also don't think that you get the full metallic view of the colors when you color them on white paper you can also see here the blue mist i have it um, here it's very dark here on the white you can see here and then very light on the black they are really supposed to be used on a black background but we will be thorough and test them in coloring books on both black and white paper so let's get to it but wait before we continue do you like this video is this a help to you when you consider buying metallic coloring pencil then please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this i also have beginner tutorials unboxing swatching practice tutorials and a lot of other fun stuff so please like and subscribe thank you 
I have decided to try these uh, metallic pencils out in Twilight Garden. It's another coloring book and it's not a Johanna Besford because last time I tried castle art in Johanna Besford it took forever to um, to layer the colors and I wanted also to try a different type of paper. So this paper is a bit more yellowish. It's not quite as white as the paper in The Magical Jungle. And I have chosen, because I want to test them both on a whiter paper and then black. So I have chosen uh, three of the purple colors, violet sapphire as a middle color. And it was magnetic mauve as the light color and amethyst as the dark color. But I think it's more clearly, if you can see them here, I can point them out to you. Magnetic move here, clearly a lighter color. Violet sapphire here, it looks like a normal purple. And amethyst just a bit darker than the violet sapphire on a white background. So let's see how they perform. And uh, I've chosen this page because it's a lot of different things. So I want to use this as a test page. So I will just take the magnetic move here. And just color it a bit. They are not scratchy in this book, these colors. They are actually quite nice the violet sapphire around it you can certainly see that the color turns darker here i don't think that there is a lot of shine to it but um perhaps it yeah it comes when you lift it up towards the light And I want the um, oh, amethyst. I mean, it's in white on a silver background. It's not easy to see. Just some amethyst here, the darkest color. And then the violet sapphire here. And if you just look at it, it's not that big of a deal, I must say. You will have to turn it up towards the light and then you can see that there is a metallic hinged here. There's a little glimpse of the metallic color. But not much. Um, let's see if we can color the green parts and for this I will use the Neptune green which is a lighter color and African Jade a darker color. You can see them here next to each other on the color chart. So a nice Turkish car turquoise color here with the Neptune green and African Jade a nice green color. So let's see how they perform here. Okay, so this looks a bit different when you just color with the Neptune green. You can clearly see that it has some metallic shine to it immediately. It's actually quite harder with these purple ones to see it. You will have to look at the light. If you look at the light also, this Neptune green is really metallic. But if you just look at it and cast a glance at it, you can clearly see that there is some metallic to this color. Let's try the African green. Just color these little leaves. Just to try them out.
It's clearly darker in the color. And there is a bit of a metallic shine to them, but not as clearly as the Neptune. It's like the light colors here are a bit more metallic than the darker colors. If I look at the flowers and I added a bit more of this magnetic mauve as a lighter color here. No, not the purple ones. They really look like ordinary purple colors and you will have to turn them towards like the light to see the shine of the metallic color. I hope you can see it. To turn it this way, you can see it. But you don't have to do that with uh, with this light green color, the Neptune green. It's clear to see that this is a metallic color. So there are certainly differences here. So if we color these bigger leaves with both of the green colors, I will try the dark one here and the lighter one here inside. Yeah, you can see still that with the Neptune green, there is a hint of this metallic light here, but not as much as the um, African jade here. So some of the colors simply on this whitish paper background look more metallic than other colors. I wonder if we see the same result with the blue ones. If I had to choose a blue color, I think that I would take um, the crystal blue. It's not quite as dark and the sapphire. See. If we take, I will just, I don't want to color the leaf. It would look a bit weird. If we color this flower um, with the crystal blue. Here around the edges. And then the sapphire blue here. Well, the sapphire blue, I must say, is certainly a clear color, very bright. But it doesn't look, if you just look down at the sapphire, it doesn't look metallic. But this crystal mist, or crystal blue here, this looks a bit more metallic. If you then turn it towards the light, you can see the metallic. But this is funny, or oh, not funny, perhaps just weird. You can see that it is metallic the light color, but even if I hold this towards the light, the sapphire blue doesn't seem all that metallic. You really have to turn it towards the light to see some metallic shine to it. So some of these colors are clearly more metallic like on white paper without you shining uh, artificial light on them than others. We still need this flower and perhaps we should take some of the gray colors. If we look at the color chart here, we have um, Typhoon gray is a quite a dark color and uh, Vesuvius gray and platinum are light colors. So if we look here, that was a Typhoon gray. And then I will take the, I think I will just take the Platinum, it's a light enough color. So platinum and uh, typhoon gray. So let's color this one and see if it's the same with the dark and the light. So I will just color it dark here with the typhoon gray and then the platinum here. And that's just without turning the light towards them. A dark gray and a gray color. It's actually not 
very light and bright. If we remember here, this is the platinum gray. And here it is. It's lighter here on the black background. So if I turn it towards the light, there is a metallic shine, but you really have to um, turn it toward the artificial light to my lamp to, to see it. So a lot of these colors doesn't really, they don't really shine metallic. Uh, um, let's try and color some of these flowers here just to give it a go. So I will color this flower orange here and then yellow in the middle. And as soon as I just lay down this color, it has a nice coverage. I must say that uh, on the paper, this orange one, it doesn't look metallic. I will now take the yellow. And the yellow has a different tone than the orange. I know it's a different color, but you know what I mean. It's clear that it's not just a normal yellow. This one this area with the yellow shines metallic, but the orange, you can hardly see it. So I have to turn it all, oh my word, all the way, no, here in this angle with the light from the lamp, straight on the orange. I can see it's metallic. Otherwise, I am not able to see that it's metallic here on this white paper. So to conclude, some, a few of these colors on this white paper or yellowish white paper shine metallic, but most of them have to have a light shining right down on them so that you can see the metallic shine to them otherwise it you can't see it as especially the darker colors it's very difficult to see that they are metallic if the light doesn't just hit it from the right direction but perhaps this is a bit of a cheat because they are meant to be on dark paper, not white paper. So I will shut this down, find some uh, black paper, and uh, then we will test them again. So I do not have any coloring books that uh, have a black background. Well, it's not entirely true. I do have a Twilight Garden. And in this one, there are pages um, that have a black background, but then the motifs themselves are on this paper that I have already tested. So it won't do much good to use this. So I had just, just found a piece of black cardboard, like the one I used to my swatch chart here. And uh, this means that I will have to draw something myself. And I have chosen uh, different colors, some of them the same colors that I tested on the white background and then I have just added a third color. So the blues are um, crystal blue and sapphire that I used on the white paper and then galaxy blue. The greens um, are the Neptune green and African jade that I used on the white paper and then I have added ocean gray to um, get a more pop of a color. You can see here on the swatch chart that the African jade is not as clear and bright as the ocean gray. So I thought that I would just have a little bit more of this and the light color is still the Neptune green. I have also chosen um, two new pencils, Burgundy Rose and uh, Mandarin Garnet. Mandarin Garnet is this red one, it gives a red color here, and Burgundy Rose a more dark red color. And then I have chosen two other new colors, Bloodstone and Imperial Topaz. And it's these two colors, also in the darker red, it's almost red brown, this Imperial Topaz. And of course, I also have 
Uh, blue mist and amethyst. Amethyst I just used, and uh, blue mist also. I think that um, blue mist uh, is this light lilac purple color, so it would look great with this uh, wonderful amethyst uh, purple color. So. And this is the result of uh, the coloring as you can perhaps you had guessed it that it was hair all of this and then I decided to um, add a blue background and it's a great thing with these coloring pencils because I had added too much red over here and you can just color it with another color and it covers a lot of it and then you can also blend them together and um, so here it is I have only added a little bit of a white gel pen to the eyes and as you can see oh you can really see the shine here so 
on this black cardboard these castle art metallic pencils really really shine through i must say very very nice indeed so to make a conclusion on this review of the castle art first of all the tin box is very nice and easy to open just like that um, not like uh, the other premium soft touch colors it was actually quite difficult the tray is really nice inside to get a lot of uh, extra goods here with coloring tutorials although i'm not quite sure that they work in reality but i will give castle art really that they um add a lot of extra stuff with their coloring pencils you can see here in the lid and also on this coloring chart that they have a certain order with a peacock topaz and crystal blue and so on but unfortunately that is not the correct order that the pencils are lying in from the beginning in this tin box so you will have to rearrange the pencils either to match this order or to match the order on their web page which i did when i swatched them on this uh, card that i got with the set you can clearly see that um, it's not the same colors that appear on this card when you compare it to the black cardboard that I swatched the colors uh, on. And you can clearly see that the black background really does a difference uh, for these coloring pencils when they are metallic. You can clearly see the shine to them uh, and you can't see the shine properly, properly on uh, this white paper. So use black cardboard to swatch the pencils. It gives the best result. When you color with them, and that is when you have sharpened them. And that's uh, another thing that's not quite all right with these pencils. They are, some of them, they're still having problems with this sharpening. I lost three centimeters of one of the pencils and one centimeter of another because the lead kit cracking and breaking and uh, the sharpeners and I used several different sharpeners I used this from Faber Castell I used this one from Stettler and I used one of those um, bigger uh, sharpeners that you can attach to a table and then you can just sharpen the pencils it's normally very good but these pencil for some reason the wood kept coming in the way and the lead cracked and break and even though i had sharpened them so i could make the swatch chart uh, charts here both this one and this one the um, point of the pencils in question they were still cracked and broken so i had to be very careful when i used them especially the rose argent i am really really frustrated and a bit sad also that the rose argent which is a very gorgeous uh, pink color uh, is so ruined by this lead keep on breaking that keeps on breaking it's really sad so there is uh, some room for improvement regarding the pencils and the leads still another thing that's good is that you can buy these pencils on the german amazon now uh, so if you are a citizen living in the eu they are much much easier to get a hold on now these castle art pencils than when i did my last review in december of the uh, premium soft touch uh, color set of 120 pencils so to sum up and make a conclusion the availability of the castle art pencils has certainly improved they're much easier and cheaper to get a hold on now that you don't have to pay import fees and shipping taxes and all that uh, the box is uh, very very nice and easy to handle and the colors are gorgeous when you use them on the right paper i must say but there is still room for improvement because some of these pencils and the wood surrounding them uh, is still not good enough. A lot of these um, pencils here have problems with cracking and breaking yes. and because I would expect something more when I buy them. Uh, it's not that they are uh, uh, really expensive like Prismacolors, but to that price I would expect the, the leads not to crack so easily. So, 
If you want metallic pencils, you could invest in these from Castle Art, but you will have to know that there are still some problems with the leads and with the cracking. And also be very aware that you will have to use the right uh, color paper to these. Don't use them on white paper in coloring books or just white paper in general. Use them on dark paper, especially black. It works the best. And now we have come to the end of this review. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel for more reviews of other coloring pencils and art supplies. I also have beginner tutorials and a lot of other fun stuff. So check out my channel. Have a nice day. Happy coloring. Bye.